Meanwhile, one group is hoping voters will consider using pedal power instead of horsepower for this year's election. As Denver 7's Sean Toll reports, volunteers say it's not about candidates or parties. It's about making sure our voices and our neighbors' voices are heard. There's definitely been a concerted effort to help people vote this year, and some of them are a little different. We have about 26 riders. Roll to the polls Denver is trying to connect people to help get out the vote in ways without hopping in the car. Initially started uh, as a campaign uh, to uh, ride bikes out to ballots. Uh, however, we did uh, decide to expand it. But now includes RTD users, people in wheelchairs, and others looking for ways to get to the ballot box. These are just people that want to like get to the polls. And the group says it's completely nonpartisan. It isn't necessarily a thing that, you know, you have to be an L or a D or a R to like, you know, vote. Group founder Lauren Hansen is trying to pair people up by community. Volunteers are even offering to assist neighbors who need help physically getting their ballot to a drop box. In the state of Colorado, uh, you can drop up to 10 ballots. And it's not just limited to Denver. We have people that are from, you know, Lakewood. People that are not from Denver that are doing this. Trying to make getting out the vote a little simpler as the election draws closer. Sean Toll, Denver 7. And so far, 